Hey guys, welcome to Math in 60 Seconds. Today we're going to be doing the second part of our factoring trinomials in 60 seconds. So let's give it a shot here. All right, now the trinomials we're going to be hitting on are ones that have a number in front, which surprisingly, that little number adds a lot of complexity to it. Uh, we're going to see it's really still not that hard. We'll go through it here. All right, just like in part one, the numbers in front need to multiply to what is in front. Here we're going to have to have a 2x and an x to make that multiply to 2x squared. In the back, the numbers have to multiply to 15, but they're no longer going to add up to what's in the middle, like it was when we didn't have a number in front. So just think of some multiples of 15. I'm going to say 3 and 5. So I'll put a 3 and a 5 there. Then what you're going to do is multiply the inside ones. That would give you 3x. Then multiply your outside ones. That would give you 10x. Is there any way that could add or subtract to make negative 1x? Hopefully you can look at that and say, no, it's not really going to work. So let's make a change here. If 3 and 5 don't work, the first thing you need to do is switch them around. So make it a 5 and a 3. We'll try it again. 5 times x. 2x times 3. Now, that very much could make negative x if that's a negative and a positive. All right, so put your signs in there, positive and negative, and you are all done. We go 2x plus 5x minus 3. All right, guys, hope that made sense. I'll talk to you again soon for Math in 60 Seconds.